Hello, welcome to Survival ABCs. This is my Sawyer water filter right here. I can't seem to find my tripod anywhere, so I'm kind of just resting the camera on the table here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this is the exact same water filter that I used for my test video that I did during the summer, and I really appreciate the amount of comments, likes, and views that the video has been receiving. Well, anyways, these uh, last for roughly about 10,000 gallons, I believe it was, and of course, if you don't properly clean it, it won't last as long as it says. Uh, says, but uh, all the same, you know, I took good care of it. But uh, you know, obviously, sooner or later, they're going to fail on you, and they're not going to work anymore. I tried to use this with a water bag, and it didn't flow properly. I used it with a straw; couldn't get any water to flow. So my best guess, it's probably just used up and it's done with now. So I'm shooting this video just to show. To, uh, just to explore my own personal curiosity, and I'm sure this is the curiosity of many other people. I have cut right along here, using this tool here, this, this is just what I have. Hacksaw blade work cut through it pretty easily and pretty quickly as well, so hopefully we'll uh, see what's inside of here. I've already cut it already. I've just been holding it together. It's just, it's just hanging on by a thread because I just wanted to... Uh, look at that. So I imagine that there's the little glue or seal or something like that. I'm not really sure what. So it's obviously cut a little bit. But it looks like it's like little tubes that go in and circle it back, right back around. So you know what, I'm going to give it a quick cut here on this end here. I don't want to cut all the way through. just want to cut a little bit at a time. That noise is getting annoying. Yeah, I don't recommend doing this uh, on a new filter, of course, because of obvious reasons. If you have a filter at home that is uh, garbage, then by all means go for it. And you're obviously going to get your little plastic dust and stuff, so. Um, Another recommendation, you might want to put a newspaper or some paper down so it makes the cleaning a little easier. Here we go. Let's cut that last little bit. There we go. So. I was really hoping I'd be able to just pull the fibers out, but I uh, don't think it's going to work. So I'm just going to pull this little tube right out. There we go. So this, of course, just simple hollow plastic tube. And it looks like it's some sort of a, almost like a little net in a way. just keeps everything contained, so to speak. That's what, at least that's what this looks like. See if we can rip this open. There we go. So of course a lot of the two little miniature tubes there are cut here as well as over here, so oh man. Yeah, so you can see right here. So let's get that out of the way a little bit. So you can see right there, there's the loop right there, so it kinda like loops around. course on the packaging it shows that these little tubes have like micro holes in it although you know personally looking at it right now I can't even really tell that there's any tubes holes there yeah so 
see there that's where it all loops around right there I would imagine the life straw is basically the same thing the life straw however I don't have any ones that are used up or broken so I'm not gonna bother with it it's a little bit of a waste but it seems to be like this little this looks like almost like a dryer the stuff you f the fabrics you find in dryers I'm not sure what the terminology so don't bother asking but uh, overall like it's not too bad looking like uh, I can see some brown marks and all over it you know especially around the uh, ends right here I can see some brown but aside from that it doesn't look all that bad but uh, still I'm still wondering you know what caused it to uh, fail on me you know it's cleaner than I thought I thought it was gonna be like brown or black or something like that the black little specks you see it's just the plastic from when I cut it so there you have it that's what's inside of it thought I'd uh, show it off because uh, well obvious reasons that uh, wasn't really working like I said like uh, I put the straw and used it as a straw I couldn't suck any water through it at all when I attached the bag to it it, it squeezed the bag uh, hardly any water was coming out of it and um, uh, like, like I said, it's just like there was a, it felt like there was a large amount of resistance going on there, and the water just wasn't flowing properly at all. So, yeah, it feels a little damp. I guess maybe there's just a little teensy bit, a little bit of water left in there, but overall, it's not too bad. I saw a video similar to the one I'm shooting not too long ago. I can't remember what the channel name was but it was still really interesting stuff all the same if you're well, hoping to you know cut this open and you know keep it somewhat intact you know so you can do a little bit of inspection it's probably best to use a hacksaw blade otherwise by all means go use a, a grinder or some sort of angle grinder of sorts to cut it open so so the packaging showed little hoses like little tubes and micro holes but uh, Personally, I'm not seeing anything unless they're just, you know, just that small, I suppose. But anyways, that's what's inside the Sawyer filter. I thought I'd share that with you guys. I explore my own curiosity, and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, <sighs> this is Five ABCs. I'll see you around until next time.